Right. I have some. I have some news. For the very first time in a in a long while, I've gone for about maybe um, a, a twenty. It was a twenty minute cardio session. I thought this was going to be another video in which I feel very low down because I did feel low down today before the jog but it's really helped today again I felt very low with hope I just lack lacking energy but as for the as for the hope thing I it's almost like I see no way out of improving my financial situation not in terms of all of the solutions that I've come up with it, uh, in mind I'm not saying that there are things that I I can do to improve my financial situation but it just seems like I am really up shit creek and I'm not going to be able to get myself out of it <clears throat> I've put myself in this situation and it is possible pardon me but from an emotional standpoint that's how I thought about the situation not having any money come in and just expecting money from someone that I someone that owes me is not fun and I've been saying this for a long while it's, it's time that I give myself the accountability of moving out so that I always have money coming in and so that my financial health will never be in as much of a of a state as it is at the moment I certainly am not in millions of pounds worth of debt or something like that my financial situation comparatively with other people is not the worst but I'm not other people and I'm not interested in comparing my financial situation with others because in doing so and looking at people's financial situations who might be worse than mine I'd be invalidating my own struggles and that's something that I'm not interested in I want to I just want to solve my financial problems and it certainly is possible but from day to day having no money coming in and just waiting for my qualifications to come in is not the most pleasant of things I certainly can sign up to universal credit I can certainly get a dead end job but I'm so close to getting my qualifications I've I was doing some thinking about it even today I thought I don't think I'm gonna I'm going to wanna to get a, a job like package shelves because I'm so close to getting my qualifications I don't think there's a po I don't I think there's no point in doing that. I may as well wait just that bit longer and get a job that I actually do like the idea of and that I actually am interested in without money involved and when I say that I think about the time when I actually trade someone and they gave me £14 even though I said nah it's fine four, at a minimum of four times they still gave me the money anyway but yeah I know I know from that experience that I really am in this not just for the money But um, yeah, I felt lowered down because of that. And although I'd like to imagine that my my financial situation would have changed in in two months from getting a, a level two job, right now at this point, I'm just I'm just about hanging on and falling off. It's it's like I'm about to fall off financially by being able to not pay my driving instructor back, even though I said I would be able to. 
because I've got the gym membership to pay as well. This may or may not be a problem that I'm going to have to deal with and I genuinely might have to cancel my gym membership because of this. But I might not. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But this is the situation I'm currently in. This is the situation I've currently put myself in. I'd be feeling a lot more low down about this if, if I didn't go out of my way to improve my physical health today through going for a jog. Which I'll now speak about, seeing as um, I'm starting to talk about it now. So, as I said earlier, I had about a 20 minute, it was about a 20 minute session. And I saw on the timer that I could go for an hour if I wanted. I'm not sure if I go for that long, but going for five minute intervals might actually really help improve my, my, my cardiovascular health. And it's something I'm very interested in doing because I've, I've noticed that the more I go out of my way to improve my cardio health, the just the healthier I feel because of the heightened heart rate and the endorphins I think that come with that. Quite a few people talk about endorphins release when you do a lot of jogging, but I personally would be saying that because other people have said it, not because I, I know what I'm talking about really. <clears throat> However, I do have the resources. I've got my um, personal training stuff. I've got a biology book here, so it's not it's not like I can't find out. And also with the coaching sort of stuff, I've I've got some PE books, some thin ones, and some bigger ones that I'll get. Oh, uh, later on I'll get some larger ones. I just love. I love learning. But it's unnecessarily difficult to do when I keep my heart rate stagnant, just at the same heart rate basically for, for days or for weeks on end. It's like I see wanting to increase, um, going out my way to increase my heart rate, like going to a different area. It's not healthy to just stay in one area for a long, a long time. And that's something I know from personal experience. It's healthy to go to different areas, just like how it's healthy to increase your heart rate every now and then. I would be doing both regularly, um, eventually. Uh, it would be after I've got after I've got work, and then slowly but surely, I'll I'll be having money coming in, and then or we'll further progress things by no longer staying in the nine to five, but instead going for a morning shift and not accepting anything else so that I'd be giving myself space to not just wake up to work, sleep and then be th having to think about work again. Even if I were doing a 9 to 5 for quite a long while I'd be able to counter this by waking up at 2 to 3 in the morning. But it's... It's... It's something... I'll be making it past a certain point unnecessarily difficult to not be living just to work even though I would be liking what I'd be doing by staying in the 9 to 5 depending on when I wake up if I wake up at like 6 in the morning then I certainly would be because I'd just be preparing to go to work and then as soon as I as soon as I come back I'd be maybe uploading a daily log on YouTube or something and just succumbing to not wanting to be bored by just being on the phone. For as long as I don't overcome not wanting to be bored I'm gonna be making it difficult I'm going to be making it a lot more difficult to be just healthy in general through not being as mentally healthy as I could be by not overcoming that. In, in other words, I said that if I don't overcome boredom, boredom, I'm making it more difficult for myself to 
live mentally healthily because I'd be looking at all of these other people's stories that aren't a part of my reality and are completely filled with things that I can't control. And I'd be thinking about other people's problems, other people's stress. That isn't my stress, stress to, to, to handle. Yeah. The mind's pretty clear, so I think I'll leave it at that for now. But I will end it on this note. I feel a lot more ready or prepared to do things, seeing as I've increased my heart rate and I've come down by giving myself like maybe five minutes on the treadmill to, to walk off. Just when my shins started feeling a lot more, a lot lighter and a lot less in pain, that's when I decided to come off. I've got nothing on the whiteboard now. So that does mean that I can um, just set some things to do if I want and then and then get them done, really, look at my mental health, do the self-assessment quiz that I've been wanting to do for maybe over a week now and finally get that done. Even if uh, it's a very, with very brief answers, just get it done so that I can, I can see where I'm at mentally. It's not nice. It's not pretty. It's not the darkest. I mean, I'm not having, I haven't, I don't think in a few days I've had any extreme anxiety attack about death, even though I have thought about it in a fearful way uh, recently, maybe even today. But it's not the healthiest mind space that I've been in. I, I'm lacking hope. And I'm not just saying that so that later on it it seems like I'd, I'd be basically living a movie where I'd be lacking hope at this point and then be having a, a massive highlight reel like this is a movie. I'm not. I'm saying this because it's. It, it was not because it is, but, but rather because it was the truth. Today, and it has been for a while. I really need to improve my financial health. Money obviously isn't everything, but I'm making it more difficult to eat healthily if I don't have money coming in. I have to keep on eating my parents' food, which I don't want to eat. Which could be having a lot of, which have a lot of meat, meat in from time to time, like this diced beef that's in there. Which could, a uh, red meat could be quite cancerous. I'm not, I don't, this, I don't have the healthiest of food here when I'm not buying. And, but with my financial health improving, or me improving my financial health rather, I'd be getting myself out of that unhealthy state food-wise, which means I'd be improving my gut health and therefore my health in general because of that, through improving my financial health. My way of life would be a lot more healthy if I did have money coming in. I've just got to wait for a bit longer. Speaking of, actually, um, I tried getting in contact with my uh, course tutor again, and they said they they were doing stuff, but they are willing to talk today, uh, talk to me today, just with getting an update on um, having some help with CV and also finding out if. My coursework's been marked and if I've got a pass. So on that note, I will leave it there. That's the end of the video. I'd like to regularly be um, taking care of my cardio. I feel a lot better, uh, a lot more uplifted. And it, it, it does help that it's, it's completely silent without, um, without me talking as well. So I could have peace of mind from that. Rather than hearing just the TV <laughs> just booming or um, mum and or dad playing their music I prefer peace of mind and it's a lot easier to achieve that with going out of my way to improve my cardio uh, my CV health cardiovascular health yeah and I'll be improving my health in the long run if I keep on doing this 
on the premise I stretch before and after and I walk off the jog I'm not sure I don't I wouldn't want to be jogging every day necessarily but I know that it, it's helped at least today but there is I have to remember what I, what I got bunions from there is such a thing as doing it too often especially within proper form and shoes with a tight toe box such as the white ones I used today They crack my feet up a little bit. When I have money, I'd be improving my foot health as well through getting shoes with a uh, with, through getting shoes with wide toe wide toe boxes. Yeah, I'd be getting trainers and boots as well for when it's when it's um, really wet outside and and or icy. Yeah, man. I'd be able to do a lot with money. I haven't thought about everything, every single thing I do, but I have had some thought a long, a long while ago. But it's it's something that I, in fact, could be thinking about now as I go out my way to improve my physical health. Doing these jogs are really going to help me get my get my mind together with um, improving my way of life. And myself in general through becoming more healthy. Long term the future might be bright but sometimes it could seem like there's a lot there's there's no hope. But through jogging I might actually <laughs> take myself out of that. As you, as I probably heard, with that, with that small giggle, I said, "Hope." With jogging, I can see on the smile on my face. I think it might not directly be the way out of this unhealthy financial situation and unhealthy way of life in general, where I'd be eating like crap and not be living by myself, where I could get my mind together in peace. And if it is loud because of the neighbours file or nose complaint or something like that. But yeah, um, without going out my way to improve my cardiovascular health some way or really raise my heart rate to a max. Like how I did today, aerobically I think, up to 176 BPM, which means beats per minute by the way, for those that don't know. It just seems like there's very little hope, yeah. But I I'm done. I'll leave it at that. Biceps are feeling a bit tense though because I didn't stretch them out. See, because when I was jogging, I'd be having my arms like this. So I'll just let them rest. Just like how I'll be letting my legs rest, even though my left knee hurts. But yeah, I'm done. And that's the bill, by the way. Diced beef stew. Which could have quite a bit of cancerous meat in it. Yeah, but... Um with going out of my way to have money coming in I'd be able to change what I eat and eat in a vegan way which mean or which might mean on the premise I do research my research on the sort of foods I'd be eating uh, over time a lot less cancerous foods I'd be I'd be eating a lot less cancer inducing foods yeah I heard from R&T Fitness um, a doctor was talking about bacon's quite cancerous I don't eat pork as it as it's forbidden in a Muslim household, but um, I I I haven't done my research on such things, so I would be able to say, oh yeah, I knew that certain meats definitely cause cancer. Unlike how that guy could say, I certainly heard red meat can, and from tracking on my fitness pal, I know that. Chicken can certainly cause high blood pressure from it being so high in sodium. I didn't know there were some foods that factually could cause cancer or might be able to. Um, these aren't things that I've really <clears throat> done much research about, at least recently. Not for the sake of my health, is something that I certainly. In my mind, I'm saying so. 
something I certainly should be doing. Yeah, I maybe might be right, and this would be quite a pleasant place, uh, quite the place to be able to release my research, um, what I've learned from certain sources. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily be the most trustworthy, seeing as it's just Google. But uh, in my course. Uh, material there are some some links which do have um in their opinion trustworthy sources so i could certainly go to them to begin with and then from there do my own research outside of those sources yeah but anyway i'll leave it at that for now i'll get on with uh, certain stuff that i'll plan for today and that'll be me done. I did have more footage from the first clip. I was actually gonna end it before it, before I realized it cut out, but ran out of storage. So this is gonna be, hence this second clip. But yeah, just we finito. Cheers to improving my health and making it easier for myself to live how I'd wanna live by going out my way to improve my physical health through, in this case, the jog. And be, um, going out my way to improve my my cardiovascular health. I certainly don't mind jogging on the treadmill. It gives me um, the timer gives me something to aim for, which I did from. Uh, I, I was saying I'll go to the fifteen minute mark when I was jogging for when I was walking for for about up up to that point up to the nine minute mark or so. Yeah, I might just do a bit of both. I'd be jogging <clears throat> outside and jogging on the treadmill and also cycling as well and then doing some weightlifting stuff predominantly lower body because I want to make a complete recovery with my shoulder which again when I have money for I'll go to physio for that yeah but yeah man that's the money's gonna having money's gonna really help me it just improve my way of life in general in many ways I've, I've I have and haven't mentioned at the moment but yeah for now, that's it. Cheers to living healthy, Oren. Getting myself out of this hole that doesn't seem possible to get out of from time to time. Everything's gonna be okay. I just have to keep on going and and wait for a bit longer until I've got until I've got that pass mark with my qualifications, which might not be long. It might be even today. I get the news that I have passed. Yeah, but on that note, just gotta keep going, man. That's it. And then. Ten years later, I'll be in places I probably could not imagine I'd be in, like traveling the world. Maybe, hey, that has that's been on the on the agenda for months now, and it's uh, something certainly possible after getting myself out of this this shithole. That was a that was a word that's on the mind, but uh, everything's got to be okay, man. Seriously, but I'm done. I'm done now. I'll leave it at that, man. Bye. <laughs>